Hello, this is the HatchetJob.com gaming netcast with a quick look at a little accessory for the Kodak ZI8. And what this is, this is a lens or a lens set that gives you a wide angle lens and a macro lens. And uh, we're handheld here. So you can just see the packet. This cost me £12 from eBay. So I'm just going to show you this now. Then I'll put it on and show the results afterwards. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you actually the contents of the packet. And uh, on the left, that grey rubber thing, that's a lens cap. Then in the middle you have the macro lens. Then on the right you have the wide angle lens. And the wide angle lens screws into the macro lens, they can't be used separately. Then the white object at the bottom, that is the metal washer. And you're looking at the side with the uh, kind of the... the the ad adhesive on the glue side so all you do is you peel off that white label and you stick it straight onto the camera you don't have to use any super glue or anything like that you just stick it straight on be aware it is quite strong so try to place it properly the first time and then that other metal object at the bottom that is a another magnet that's on a little lanyard so you can attach it to your Kodak ZI8 and what you do is you screw the two lenses together put the rubber lens cap on the big macro lens and then you just stick those lenses onto this little holder at the bottom right and they attach magnetically so you can carry them around with the uh, with the ZI8 although of course if you have a camera bag it's probably safer to put it in there so that's what is in the packet and you are now looking through the macro lens this isn't the camera being faulty this is what the macro lens looks at or looks like when placed over the Kodak ZI8 lens. And why does it look like this? Well, it's out of focus, it's out of focus, it's out of focus, but then as you go really, really, really close, it starts to go in focus. And I think you can just see there, you can actually see the printing on the cardboard. That is staggering. The ZI8 does have a macro mode, but really you can't get much closer than about six inches before the macro mode starts getting blurry. But here, I think I'm what maybe an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half, two inches from the the packaging that the lens came in. And when I pull out again to where I would normally be holding the macro lens, about here, you can see just how blurry it is. So I'll zoom in onto the the cardboard again. You can see the the fibre in the envelope and the fibre in the customs form. So again, that that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. So let's pull out and I will attach the wide angle lens for you. So I'm about to attach the wide angle lens. This is just the Kodak ZI8 with nothing attached in the garden. And one thing that is uh, important to know about the wide angle lens is that it does distort at the the top and bottom and the side. So it, it has a kind of a fisheye effect. So it's really the sense that you want to concentrate on. So be aware, but I think that's okay for a twelve pound, a twelve pound lens. So I'm attaching the the wide angle lens now. Here it clipping on, and uh, there it is. And you should be able to see that it has increased the width of the picture quite a bit. And I will remove it now, sliding it off. And there we are, back of the default lens. I'll leave it there for a second. And now I'll add it back on again, sliding it on there. And there we are, so that is the, uh, the wide angle lens. So overall I think this is a pretty good buy. You get a macro lens, you get a wide angle lens, no attachment difficulties, just stick it on and away you go. I'd recommend it.